Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create and avoid creating folders in Reaper. Now, when I first had the idea of doing this video, I was going to show you some scripts to avoid creating folders and allow them as well. But after going through this for a bit, I decided to change it up and just show you how to be more careful creating and not creating folders. But let's start with a review. I have a project in front of me here with some drums, a bass, guitar, and a vocal. Let's say I wanted to create a track that's going to behave as a folder. I can create a new track down here by double clicking, and I can drag it to the top like this, then hit this button that looks like a folder which turns into a plus, hit it. And now this track is a folder for all these tracks, which behaves like a bus. In other words, all the audio or MIDI on these tracks is now flowing through this track. So we can mute it and all these tracks get muted. We could solo it. We could add effects to it like EQ. And now this EQ is gonna be on all these tracks as a group. And it's the same if we had a compressor right here. This compressor is going to compress all these tracks as a group because it's compressing this track, which is a folder for these tracks. And it'll also work with volume over here, down and up, our panning over here, left and right, and even the envelopes. So if we want to automate anything on the folder track, it's going to affect all the tracks within it. And it doesn't have to control all the tracks. We can hit this button right here two times to push it out so only the drum tracks are in this folder. So now the EQ or compression or muting or soloing or volume or pan is just affecting the drums not the bass, guitar, or vocal. And we could also use folders for organizing our tracks. Right now, they're full size, but we could hit this arrow right here to make them smaller, hit it again to hide them almost completely, which is very useful for organizing our tracks. Let's say we're working with a commercial and we have a sound effect in here, just creating one sound. We can create it, put it in a folder, and just hide it when we don't want to see it anymore. Or open it back up if you want to re edit that sound effect for that section. And we could also switch it with actions. Go to actions, show action list, type in folder, and there's a few actions to control our folders. With this track selected, we could change the folder's state, not a folder, with it being a folder, or not a folder. And we could also adjust the collapsed state. Hit it once to make it smaller, hit it again to make it tiny or disappear, and hit it again to be full size. And of course, we can add keyboard shortcuts to these actions. Let's take it out of a folder like this. Let's delete this track. But the thing I really wanted to show you in this video is how to avoid accidentally creating folders. For example, if I create two new tracks down here, select them both. Let's say I want to put them between the kick and snare. We could drag it and pull it up between the two. But if we go a bit too high by accident and let go, these two tracks become child tracks in this folder. So we made this track a folder for these two tracks, which we didn't want to do. Let's undo that. Instead, we should grab it and make sure we see this gray line. But if you look to the left near the folder button, the line goes all the way to the end. So if I let go, it doesn't create a folder. But now, if I do it again and just go a bit higher, like I'm dragging it to this track, notice it indents to the right. If I go down, it goes all the way to the left go a bit higher, and now we're creating a folder. So if we pay attention to this, 
you won't accidentally create a folder, which I often do by mistake. Go lower so it's not a folder, or go a bit higher if we want it to be a folder. So basically dragging it on top of this track, making this track a folder for these two child tracks. And it'll work the same way when dragging it down. I tend to forget and drag it down this far. And if I let go, my vocal track becomes a folder for these tracks, which I didn't want to do. So instead, just drag it a bit further, look to the left and make sure the line goes all the way to the left side, folder, not folder, and we could drag it down and change the order of our tracks without accidentally creating a folder. Folder, not a folder. Like I said, this tends to happen accidentally quite often, but if you're careful with it and always look on the left side, you can create a folder when you want, like this, or avoid it when you don't, like this. Not a folder, a folder. So that's pretty much it. That's how to create and avoid creating folders in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!